The chairperson of the Committee on Gender-Based Violence and wife of Edo State Governor Mrs. Bessie Obaseki signed the Memorandum of Understanding during the committee's second quarterly meeting for the year, said the decision to partner with Kada Cinemas, an indigenous entertainment outfit, was to ensure wider publicity of the movie in Edo State and across the country. Mrs. Obaseki said the proceeds of the movie will be used to fund anti-gender-based violence activities in the states. She called on stakeholders to play a key role in curbing gender based violence in Edo State. They will now market it, begin to show it. Uh, they spoken to us about the number of platforms they have. I want to be sure that they have enough platforms not just showcasing it in the city or just in Edo States. It should be showcased across the country. Uh, at least to ensure that they've got enough platforms to do that. So when this movie starts showing across the country, they will remember us for good. In his remarks, the managing director of Kada Plaza Cinemas and Entertainment Center, Benin City, Mr. Trevor Prilly, said the management of the center decided to embark on the venture in view of the quality of the movie and its impact on the society. He expressed delight that it's an honor and privilege to collaborate with a state government to distribute the movie. He expressed optimism that the movie will be a huge success. Well, at um, first glance of the movie, I was very impressed and I saw huge potential as to how this could be used uh, not just for viewing pleasure in the cinema, but also for sensitization and uh, taking it nationwide. Um, so we have a lot of marketing plans in place um, and we want to actually get this out to be screened. Uh, Cut Off Film Entertainment is um, Country has honored a privilege to be working with the interstate government to actually distribute this movie. And we would hope that it's going to bring in um, all the success that everybody is looking at. High point was the signing of the MOU. Patience Osaugiwa reporting.